This movie looks so awesome. I can't wait to see the black phone with my wonderful, beautiful girlfriend, Lisa. Just getting the tickets now, and, I, and, I, I, and I'm all set. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I can't, this looks so creepy. You can't wait to see this. No caller ID. Who is this? Let's see who this is. I, I don't, let's see who this is. Hello? Who is this? Listen, I'm trying to go, go to the movies with my girl. I don't know who this is. Hello? Answer me. Hello? Lisa, is this you? Lisa? Lisa, is that you? Why are you calling me from an unblocked number? Lisa? Hello? Is that you? This isn't Lisa. Well, if this isn't Lisa, who the fuck is this? Who is this? Who the fuck is this? Who am I, you ask? <laughs> You'll find out. I am at the point. Another more of you. Hello? Who is this? I can't, uh, who, who, someone keeps calling me. Well, I don't, Just ignore it. I, I, I keep getting these calls, these random calls. It's a, Alan, it's a telemarketer. Yeah, I don't know. Hello? All right, they, hello? Hello? All damn night. Hey, I keep, hey, what's up? Kyle here again. I'm here with my wonderful, beautiful girlfriend Lisa here again. X X Bitto Star X X. Hey guys, what's up? Some creepy guy keeps calling me. I it's don't a know. telemarketer. Yeah. Just assume it's a telemarketer. If yeah. it, if you guys get unknown numbers, assume it's a telemarketer and hang up right away. Or it might be the it might be the what, what was the guy's name? The grabber. The, the grabber. Uh oh. I don't know. It was creepy. Some creepy guy keeps calling me. I'm not <laughs> this whole day. Mm. All day and night, you know, it's, it's just creepy. But uh, anyways, we, we're here to do another movie review. We just got out of seeing The Black Phone. And um, I, now, this is, this is, this is a, it's a new horror film called The Black Phone. It's not really much more, the plot didn't really have much to do with a black, oh, it, it did have to do with a black phone, but. Yeah, because but of it, the plot, the phone was technically a plot device. Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed our little intro that we did in the it beginning. It was fun. It was fun, yeah. Um, two person operation, but we got two, it done. Yeah. Usually we do these things with, um, Doug and Mark. Doug and Mark and like a three, it's like a three person or a four person, four person operation. But, um, but this though, it was easy. This was a little easy, just a little something we cooked up. Yeah. But, um, we, let's, let's review the black phone, the black phone. Um, it really wasn't too much of a black phone. It was like, it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like... It was more of a kidnapping story. Kidnapping story. It didn't take place... It wasn't really much of a phone story. It was a, more of a kidnapping story. But, um... It took place in the 70s, it took place though. In the, it's, it took, it's, a, it's a modern day film, and it took place in the 70s. Like, the, it had that 70s feel to it. Yeah, like, it was so cool. It like, took place in the 70s. 70s clothing and style. Mm -hmm. And televisions. Televisions, yeah. I think it was in the 70s. Yeah, it was 70s. Yeah, it was 70s. I thought it was in the 90s at first. No, what? No, not the 90s. If they had the nine, if they had the 90s phones, like the phones, like would have been bigger. Yeah, well, it had those little cords and the cords and stuff. That's been around since, like, I mean, I think we, I think I did have a cord phone back in back in the I 90s. Had those, yeah. Yeah, but this took place in the 70s. Cause no, we're not in the 90s. I didn't have that. Did I? Did we have that? In no, the 90s? no, we had no. different phones. No, that's we like, didn't no, have... no, because as I said, I think my grandmother had one, but it was like all the way back the in the old house. They had those in the yeah, 50s, and they... yep, that's why this is like more of like a 70s like um, piece. Yes. But like. um... But what'd you think of it? Okay, to be honest, this was actually 
like, honestly, so powerful. Like, this was, like, the most, like, powerful horror movie I've ever seen in years. And it stars Ethan Hawke. Yep, Ethan Hawke. He plays another character that we can't give away. Yeah, we're not going to give it away, guys. Well, he plays... Should we just say he plays the villain? Yeah, he plays the villain, but we're not going to tell you which villain. Which villain, yeah. Yeah, but this one, guys... He you're... Play, well, he plays he plays the guy. And we'll... He plays the villain. He plays the villain, like, yeah, the, the grabber. Yeah. The, gra the grabber. Yeah, he plays, he plays yeah. the grabber. Like, no, 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 grabber. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, not that grabber. Not that grabber. Anyways, um, back to the movie. Um, but overall, though, this was actually, like... Oh my god, really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Again, this is powerful because as by a summary, should I do it? Yes. Okay, so Please this do. All right, so this film is basically about a family who was like kind of going through like um a heartbreak because their mother died. The daughter of the family mm -hmm. um believes that she has these weird dreams about figuring out like who keeps kidnapping all these kids. Well, it's five kids. Technically, and then the yeah. and then the main brother Ben. Kind of looked like J Jesse Eisenberg as a young S Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say the kid Finn actually is the main protagonist, and mm -hmm. he's the one who gets kidnapped. And then pretty much he has to figure out like a puzzle on how to get out of the grabber's house. And the kill and the the, the face kind of looked like an it kind of Pennywise kind of character. Yeah. Like, I, or like, like a Joker, more like a Joker. I would say more Joker because because Pennywise is a clown. Yeah. This one is just an ordinary. Well, you said he looked like Pennywise. I think. Yeah, he looks more like Joker. I I can tell they got inspired by like Pennywise, but this is actually more based on a short story, mm -hmm. like with the same title. I had to look. Yeah. A, I actually did my little bit of research before the movie, so I kind of have to like get a little bit knowledgeable. Yeah. But but this one though, this one as I said, um, the kid Finn has to figure out on how to like get out of the house like kind of solving like like problem solving it's kind of like the people on this the movie reminds me of that movie the horror film if you all remember west craven's for people under the stairs oh yes kind of yes of that yes kind of movie. Mm -hmm. remember that yep it's yep it gave me that vibe it gave me a little bit of an it vibe because it'll yeah. kidnapping kids thing but yeah that's i too. know but it is a little completely different well and people on the stairs it was like a kidnapping they, they kidnapped the kids and they put them the people on the stairs and they have to figure out how to get out yeah and it also kind of reminded me of greta remember oh greta, greta yes yes the greta uh, Greta, I think, is a little more different, it's though. It's different, though, No, yeah. because Greta's... No, that was different, though, but it's just like a kidnapping, like, movie. Kind. Another... It kind of reminded me of Split a little bit, too. Remember that movie Split that came out a few years ago? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Night... Was it M. Night Shyamalan or no? No, who directed that? Um, I think it was, um... M. Night Shyamalan? It might have been, yeah. I don't know. Anyways, uh, back to this one. Pretty much the kid has to figure out how to when get she out. Can, when the, the, he had split personalities and then he kidnaps the women and... and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think they, it, he had, like the hostage... It's like a hostage movie. It's, a, it, this, it's another like one of those kidnapping movies, but this one is actually one of the best ones I've ever is, seen yeah. in, like, in a very, very long time. Like for this one though, like um, the kid figures out his way out, but then as we said, there is a black phone involved, quote, black phone. Yeah. And the black phone, like, whenever he picks up, it's pretty much a dead child, like, a victim. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much one of his classmates, actually, or actually, it's either a classmate or someone, like, a neighbor across the street, is able to help him, like, figure it out. But, um, there is, like, a couple kids that we can't give away, though, because there's just one major kid that, um, uh, we're not going to give away because he's plays like very very important in the role so the will be the key thing guys when going to this movie or watching it is like you have to remember the kids like you have to pay attention to the movie like this one you have to pay close attention you have to pay attention to the names you have to like remember their backgrounds or else you're gonna get completely lost um but and yeah. also uh, also can kind of give me you're gonna think i'm a little Maybe not. Maybe disagree with me a little bit. But did it give you a Stranger Things vibe? No, but no, not for sure. A little bit, some parts. Yeah, because of the kids, they figured stuff out. Yeah, maybe some some bits and pieces of Stranger Things. Well, one of the kids that looked kind of remind me of Billy in Stranger Things, though. Remember? Don't you know? Oh, do you mean? Oh, you mean? Um, you mean? Um, oh, Billy. Are you talking about the lifeguard? Yeah, yeah. Remember Billy in Stranger Things? Oh yeah, the older brother. Yeah. Of Max. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, one of the kids in the movie remind me of Billy from Stranger Things. Oh, because it was the bully. Yeah, the hair. It was like. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think the, like, the like rock punkish rock. Yeah, hair. punk hair. Yeah. And kind. Of, yeah. But anyways. Yeah. Anyways, though, back to this movie though. As I said, guys, you have to pay attention. Like to the characters, you have to pay attention again to their backstories. You have to pay attention to their actions, mm -hmm. or else like you're not gonna know like who the who the kid, who the kids are who are trying to help the kid Finn. Like give him give him like all these clues. Finn was actually one of those like um kid protagonists who I actually I was rooting for him. And yeah, and Finn looks like kind of like a young Jesse Eisenberg, doesn't he? Yeah, I think it's because of the face. Yeah, he does. Mm. But Finn is actually one of those kid protagonists. Like you guys have to really root for him. But and you also have to root for the sister because yeah. the sister does kind of play an important role in the film. Mm -hmm. And the sister was really good in it too. Oh, the sister was such a badass. Yeah, like she was like really really good, and she was yeah. able to kind of like figure stuff out. Like she had this like dreams thing, and she was like she kept she keeps like praying and praying until there's a miracle. Yeah. And again, you gonna you gonna ha you kind of have to feel like something for her because she's just trying her best while she's gonna going through like. An abusive, not only obviously abusive, but a hard life for her father, because the father had a wife originally like her who saw all these visions. But again, we don't give you don't give too much stuff away. But we're, I'm just gonna end it right here. This movie though is so powerful. We're, he was almost crying it towards the end. Yeah, some parts were crying. I was crying. One part was a couple like th like tear like three different parts like like you were tearing up. A te te tearing up in one part. And a guy got scared in some parts. I kind of got scared. Yeah. There's some scary moments in this movie because it's a horror film. Mm -hmm. But like it, like jump scares and stuff. Oh yeah, there are plenty. Of, there are plenty of little jump scares here and there. Yeah. But overall though, um, after some violent p parts like gore. Oh like, yeah, and then there's some scenes that are gonna get are gonna get some some viewers I guess a little uncomfortable. Yeah, there's some uncomfortable stuff in here too. A little uncomfortable. Not too much. But not too much. It doesn't go like hard or hardcore uncomfortable. Yeah. But. There is a little bit of scenes here and there that gave us a little bit of squeamish vibes, but overall, yeah. though, overall in general, the black phone is really, really excellent, you guys. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a unique horror film. It's something different, something like I don't think that anyone has seen before, like you know, like in in horror history. I mean, we've seen like kidnapping films here and there, but, but I yeah. think this is actually one of the best ones I ever seen in a, yeah. in a very it long seemed, time. It, it was a different. It different. gave me a different vibe, like a different like atmosphere to it. Absolutely. Yeah, but uh, let's get down to the ratings. 10 out of 10. Enough I give said. It, I give it 10 out of 10, too. This is very good. I know we always say everything. 10 out of 10, everything. Not everything's 10 out of 10. We don't always say everything. But we try to stay positive. We try to stay positive with these reviews and stuff. But uh, this was 10 out of 10, too. Lightyear, we reviewed yesterday, yesterday. But, yeah, that was 10 out of 10 also. But this was also 10 out of 10. This was... we last seen a lot of good stuff lately. 10 out of 10. Definitely go check it out. I highly recommend it. And you both highly recommend it. And support Blumhouse. And put support Blumhouse. They're doing. They do mix. They have hit or miss movies. Yeah, I was gonna say mostly mostly hit movies, like you know, like good good movies. But um, I'm I'm impressed with their movies usually. Yeah. Yeah, they have good stuff, and they and I'm really looking forward to to Halloween ends and like the new Halloween last Halloween movie and Five Nights at Freddy's. Whenever that comes out, I don't yeah, know. exactly. A, we have no information on that yet. But, I mean, um, he, I mean, Jason Blum keeps saying like there's a couple like breadcrumbs here and there. Yeah. But um, I'm hoping it's gonna come out very soon. What else I'm, is Blumhouse putting out? All I know is that there. All I know is Jason Blum saying something about about a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. But any other horror films, Halloween, and then some other like uh, stuff. I really do. I don't know the top of my head. All I know is Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, they didn't show many Halloween previews, like ho ho horror movie previews in this. For to, this, to, yeah, because like we don't know when the. Prom because we don't know when the promotion for Halloween is going to come out yet. Yeah, because they're waiting until Hall Halloween to prom to promote Halloween movies. Yeah, I think Horror that, movies. Yeah, October is usually the time October, to get yeah. all the horror movie updates for the upcoming years. Yeah, but we went to the theaters to see this movie. Mm -hmm. you see, definitely see Black Phone. It's definitely worth checking out if you mm -hmm. love horror, creepy, s scary movies. And powerful messages. And powerful messages and like... Like kidnapping, scary movies. Definitely check this out. Definitely go see the Black Phone in theaters. Right, definitely check it out. We're checking it out. Definitely mm -hmm. worth your time. Definitely see the Black Phone. 
Anyway, though, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Please rate, subscribe. And if you guys, before I end this video, I want to let you all know to check out the Indiegogo campaign page for the new upcoming horror slasher film that I'm going to be in called Silent Night, Bloody Night 3, directed by my buddy Will Colazzo Jr. And, uh, Co-directing is is uh, Julianne Prescott. The Indiegogo campaign page. Um, I'll, if you haven't contributed to it yet, there's still time, and we're almost reaching our goal. Woo! So, um, if you haven't checked out the Indiegogo campaign page, there's still time left. Please contribute today. I'll put a link underneath this video for the Indiegogo campaign page for that. It's going to be a really cool horror film. I'm really excited to film it. Um, I'm going to play really fun characters. It's going to be a really cool Christmas horror film. But please donate today and, can, and make, help us make the film as, as cool as possible. And can, the, the, uh, contribute to independent art. But anyway though guys, hope you enjoyed this, this video. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. Devin's give... Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Hit up my girlfriend on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Follow her on MeWe. Subscribe to her XS Mint to Star XX. And check out that Indiegogo campaign link. And uh, thanks a lot for watching for subscribing. I'll see you all later. All right. Peace. And go see the black phone. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Oh, I think I'm getting a phone call right now. Uh-oh. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. No, I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> I'm not going to answer it. See you all later. Peace. Peace.